So today we're going to show you how to use the disassembled view, but this is a build, so you don't need GDB working. You can just review, review your disassembled code at the end of each build. So we've just got a simple sketch here as normal and our board selected so it uses the right tool chain. So then if we just press F4 to get the project properties open and scroll to the top, you'll see the disassembled view option and it does explain at the bottom what this does. And there's also disassembly switches and we automatically include H, capital S and L, which we can see the H and S in this version here. If you do define your own switches, it replaces all the ones we define. So you'd have to define all the ones you want in that option. So once you've done that, just save your project and then we can do a build to see the new output. So at the end, you'll see it say that it's created the disassembled view and there's a link to the whole output file. So if you just click on that, it'll open. This is the full disassembly of the program. So you can also go to the micro disassembly view. Now we've enabled this option and this will show you the first few megabytes of the file. Um, and if it's larger than is efficient to display, it will just put the file link at the end of this as well. And you can double click on any file entries to jump between the assembly and your code, as we can see here, which can make it very useful if you're trying to further analyze what's happening under the hood on the chip. So as simple as that, one option and do a build as normal. If you want to learn more, please like and subscribe and we'll be releasing new videos in the coming days.